Give me a C. Give me a D. Give me a U. Give me a V. What does that spell? <laughs> Guitar neck contours, of course. Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars and welcome to the Highline Guitars YouTube guitar building channel. If you're new to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, I'll have earned your subscription. In today's episode, I want to ask you, the viewer, a question about guitar building. I've done a couple of these videos before. I'm finding that they're really helpful to folks who are just starting out building guitars and are trying to make some decisions about how they're going to design and build a guitar. With these type of videos, the comments that you, the viewer, put down in the comment section helps them to kind of get some different ideas and, and to realize some of the different possibilities. So for today's video, the question I want to ask you is, what is the shape that you prefer for the back contour of your guitar neck? Now, for those of you who don't know really what I'm talking about, over the years, as uh, luthiers have been building guitars, we have come to describe the back shape of the neck using letters of the alphabet. We will describe them as C-shaped, D-shaped, U-shaped, V-shaped, and there may be others, but those are the common shapes that we use to describe this kind of half-rounded contour. And there are different shapes based on folks' different preferences for the way the neck will feel in their fretting hand. Now, as a guitar builder, I prefer a C shape, which is really probably the most common shape that guitar builders use when making necks, especially if they're building guitars that they're going to sell to just about anybody out there in the public. Having a C shape, uh, I think, assures uh, more uh, reliability in terms of its comfort and playability for the most people. However, there are folks who will opt for different shapes for specific situations. Some players might prefer a V shape or a U shape, which is all slightly different. And there are others who will pref uh, prefer sort of a asymmetrical shape, which is a shape that I'm thinking about experimenting with. Because to me, the asymmetrical shape makes sense. It gives your, your palm better support as you're fretting. And as you know, especially if you're practicing certain types of guitar riffs, your palm, the muscles in your palm can start to cramp up as you're playing, uh, especially repetitive motions up and down the fretboard. So having that better support might alleviate some of that cramping that can occur. But for others, having more of a um, general C shape seems to be the most useful. And that's what I like to use in my guitars. But I'd like to find out from you what you as a builder or a player prefer. Over the years, I've noticed uh, especially going back to the days when I was building custom commissions for people, I would ask them, what kind of shape do you prefer for your guitar neck? And oftentimes they would just kind of shrug their shoulders and say, well, like a Stratocaster neck or a Telecaster or a uh, Les Paul. They didn't really know how to convey the shape uh, that they prefer to me as a builder. And that's one of the reasons why we use that alphabet lettering system to try to get as close as we can to the shape that the player is going to want. However, it's not that accurate or useful because a lot of folks who we build for don't know how to respond when you ask them, you know, what shape do you want for your guitar neck? So as a result, uh, what I ended up having to do, and I did this towards the end of when I was building custom commissions. Since I have a CNC machine, I was able to make neck contours basically from the heel of the neck up to the volute, just this section here. And I was able to make 
a whole range of different shapes and sizes and it didn't take very long to do it. And then what I would do is I would carve those necks out of a, a low cost wood like poplar or pine. And when I would get a custom commission from a customer and I would ask them, you know, what shape do you want? What I found was most useful was just to, you know, once I get kind of an idea of what they're thinking of is I would pick one of the necks that I thought would um, uh, appeal to them, what they would uh, prefer to play, and I would mail it to them. And I'd ask them, play the, you know, hold this neck in your hand and see how it feels. Is that what you're looking for? If it wasn't quite right, I could at very least get a little bit more information about what I needed to make the correct neck form. And we could actually go back and forth a couple of times. And I could send a, a, a customer a couple of necks or a couple of neck contours until we landed on one that was exactly the right shape. And then more often than not, they would choose a shape that would say, I like the you know shape number four, but maybe a little thinner. So then I could take that profile and modify it slightly for the specific guitar that I was going to build for them. And that seemed to work out pretty well. Uh, although it does mean you're going to take a little bit extra time uh, to build the guitar because you have to go through that process. But in a way, it's a great form of customer service. You're really uh, giving the customer the feeling that they're, they're playing a, a significant part in the design of their guitar. So that was uh, sort of the direction that I went. Anymore these days, however, I'm not making custom commissions anymore for a variety of reasons. But what I am doing now is using, like I said, that C shape for the guitar neck, which I think is the most useful. So let me know your thoughts on this subject. I'm really interested to know. And when you post your comment about the shape that you prefer, uh, please try to go a little bit further and give us a reason why. That's where uh, viewers can learn a lot from each other, uh, exactly what uh, decisions we make and why we make them. That's really the most important. So uh, hopefully you found this video to be uh, potentially uh, inspiring and I hope that you'll uh, consider posting your comments down below. And as always, until the next episode, take care, stay safe, make sure you click the thumbs up button and I'll see you soon.